Good morning, everyone. So this is already the, the second day um, of us owning the Profitech Go um, machine. It's fully cooled since I did the first impression unboxing yesterday. So I am gonna turn it on and just do a regular morning coffee routine and see how long it takes for the machine to warm up, make an espresso and also um, steam some milk. So let's get started. It's about um, three minutes in uh, since I pressed the power button and I just went about doing uh, my morning chores, scooping the cat litter, you know, getting things ready for my work. And uh, so, yeah, it's still not warmed up yet. Still sets up. So when you first turn on, it heats up and it just sets up. Um, I have my quarter filter already filled with coffee. And it's kind of getting warm so if I do a flush I'm not sure if it's gonna help let's just do a quick flush see if that helps with um, getting the yep it, so it, it heats up much quicker especially for the group set once you flush it a little bit but again um, not ready yet this is the puck. Remember at the first impression video, it always um, tries to escape uh, over here uh, with a little channeling. So I don't really know what's going on. This time I'm gonna try to close the port filter even tighter. Hopefully that will fix the issue. And now it's about four minutes. Um, it's still heating up from um, the code status. So we're at um, 5 minutes and 40 seconds. Um, so that's when the machine's ready. Um, and oh, phew, really hot. Don't do that. <laughs> All right, so I'm going to leave my potter filter again um, in there. And get it heated up just a little bit. You can see the temperature drops because of the porta filter. And we are getting ready to brew. Um, I'm not using my bottomless because I set this up for my wife so she can, you know, brew her uh, espresso um, after I go to work. But this is what it looks like. We're gonna wait for it to go to 200 because the temperature dropped um, because of the porta filter that's slightly cold. Uh, let's see. Try to show you guys the temperature as well as the pump pressure. So once it's ready, um, let me zoom it in a little. We are going to start to brew. 299 looks good enough to me. So let's get ready. Thirty-eight seconds. Now I'm gonna turn on the steamer. Okay. We're gonna do a steaming. Okay. You can 
see the puck actually got stuck on the um, right there. So I still have some problem with channel at that area. I don't know why, um, but it's still an issue. Just turn on the, uh, the steamer and let's see. So we gotta flush it a little. And you probably want a little cup at the bottom when you try to flush. Um, it's gonna dump out quite a lot of water. So, according to Profit Tag, you're gonna flush it twice. Um, every time, let the water run for about 5 seconds, um, in between a 10 second interval, and that's probably a flush, so that leaves a little space for the top of the boiler to generate more steam. Okay, I'm gonna go get my milk ready. So we're already almost at the steaming temperature of 283, I am going to start to find a good angle for you guys you can see the pump pressure right now is at 2.5 bars okay and the light just came on it's ready let's let's start steaming first time using this wand again it's not safe touch so it gets extremely hot so just be really careful okay the touch about 140 degrees Fahrenheit and that's how fast it actually steams okay so once it finishes it heats up again um, you'll want to purge your boiler for the next brew because I'm down over here so make sure you close the steamer and that it creates um, that's you know one of the shortcomings about this you know single boiler purging process it's gonna make a mess everywhere because of the strong powerful steam okay but um, that's pretty much the morning routine the whole process um, I'm looking at the timer about 13 minutes artist obviously uh, but it works okay so um, there you have it um, if you guys again have any questions feel free to ask me in the comment section down below um, this is our actual first time using it properly to make a latte all right cheers